Hey, welcome to Secret Lab Reports. Today we'll be discussing new findings on neutrinos. To the Secret Lab! It's been more than a year since Milwaukee Atheist made a video on neutrinos, and quite a lot has changed in the field since then. If you haven't yet seen Lawrence's explanation on neutrinos, I'll give you a quick overview. Neutrinos are fundamental particles that are produced during fusion and beta decay. They only interact gravitationally and through the weak nuclear force. Because of how limited these interactions are, and how small the size of the neutrino is, scientists hadn't discovered them until 1970. Neutrinos come in three varieties. Electron neutrinos, tau neutrinos, and muon neutrinos, each oscillating between each other. For a long time, neutrinos were thought to be massless until 15 years ago when scientists were perplexed. 15 years ago, physicists were perplexed when they discovered that these tiny particles have mass. As looked at in our Implications of Neutrino Mass video, we're still not fully certain on where that mass comes from. Traditional mass, or Dirac mass, comes from particles having antiparticle pairs. The most likely way that neutrinos gain their mass is by them being their own antiparticle or having Majorana mass. Being the least understood of the fundamental particles, scientists are constantly working on new experiments to get to understand them better. Dune, or the Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment, taking place at Fermilab and Stanford, are working on just that. The two are coming together from across the continents of the United States to work on the largest neutrino project to date. The $1.5 billion project should be completed by 2020. Its findings should be as insightful for the neutrino as the Large Hadron Collider was for the Higgs boson. The system works by shooting a large beam of neutrinos created by Fermilab's Proton Accelerator at Stanford's underground research facility. The beam is detected at both sites at the start and end of its 800 mile journey. The stream of neutrinos will change flavor and mass state, and both of those will be observed. Dune is 100 times more accurate than any of its predecessors. Each detector site will comprise of four 17,000 ton tanks of liquid argon, super cool. When a neutrino hits an argon atom, it emits a photon or an electron, depending on what type of flavor hit it. The cooler the argon, the more condensed and less active it is, making it easier for the neutrinos to hit them. Dune's experiment hopes to resolve the issues involving the flavor state and mass states of the neutrino. Neutrinos may even interact with forces outside of the standard model, expanding upon the physics beyond our normal understanding. What exciting new finds do you think Dune will discover? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.